Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Merge Intervals. In this question we are given intervals array and we need to merge all the overlapping intervals and return an array of the non-overlapping intervals that cover all the intervals in the input. So in the first example we can see that the given intervals are these. There are two intervals 1,3 and 2,6 which are overlapping so we merge them into one which is 1,6 and we return the output as follows. Let's see how the intervals get merged in the first example. We are given this input and we need to check if any of the intervals are getting overlapped. Suppose we have a range from 1 to 18. Now let's mark a, each of these interval given in the input. So 1 comma 3 will be here. Then there will be 2 comma 6 and then the rest of the 2. We see that uh, the interval 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 6 are getting overlapped over here. So what we need to do is we need to merge these two into one interval which is 1 comma 6. Why we are doing this? We see that whenever there is a condition, the start of the second interval is less than the end of the first interval. In that scenario, we need to merge it. And this becomes our condition of merging the overlapping intervals. So let's see how we can code this. As we will be going sequentially from the start to the end of the interval, we need to make the intervals as sorted with the start value. So what we do is we'll sort the array first. Then we will take a list for the result. Why we are taking a list is because we do not know the size of the final result. At the very start we need to add the first interval into the list. We will also have a variable j which will point to the last value in the resultant list. We'll then start our looping from the first position of the intervals. We need to take the last interval, which will be this. Now we need to write the condition that we talked about. If the value Of the start of the second is less than end value of the resulting array. In that case the interval end value changes to the maximum of either the initial value or the end value of the second value. If that is not the case, we need to simply add this interval into the resulting array and increment the index j. Now we need to convert this list into a 2D array and we will do this where the number of rows will be equal to j plus 1, we then loop. And lastly, we simply return the array. Let's run this code. So we're getting the right result for this. Let's test that for the second input. We forgot to take into consideration that the interval can be equal also. So now it is giving the right result. Let's submit this code. It got submitted. The time complexity of this algorithm is of n log n because we are sorting the array and the space complexity is O of n. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.